What's going on, creators? I just want to get on here and uh, bring everybody back to now. <laughs> Appreciate y'all being here and vibing with me for a bit. Yeah, today I'd like to talk a little bit about contemplating perfection, you know, and how you can start to use that idea to break out of a lot of judgment, a lot of um, accidentally growing the undesirable, you know, because what happens in like the undesirable, especially when it starts to spin out of control, is you start putting your, your attention on a problem, which then grows the problem and to your awareness, and then it starts to become like everywhere, you know, as you start to really embody more and more of that state of awareness. Um, but kind of the snap out of that, which now is where you start doing that, um, start contemplating how does what does God think about this situation? You know, how does God see this in oneness and in using the law and all this kind of stuff? You know, ask, believe, and receive. You know, it's like start really asking for understanding because most of our drama you know, it's all internal. You know, it's like it, we spend the majority of the day, you yeah, know, we're maybe present in a room. <laughs> you know, it's like, what what is the life as a human? It's like, I don't know, talking to different people in rooms. <laughs> you know, it seems like a big part of it. You know, but like, um, you know, getting out of like these like mental narratives that are just like, oh, that other person just really must hate me or, you know, they're, they're just waiting for me to slip up so they can attack me or whatever you're telling yourself in the here and now. You know, it's almost like, you know, awareness or consciousness or, you know, the, the simulation that we're in, you know, is an ever-present reality ready to start to move in a, in a creation direction. You know, so as if you're having unconscious thoughts, it's like it throws these seeds or a rock into a pond and then a ripple starts to go out. Seeds is a good way to think of it too, like a garden. You know, so it's like you could be spending your day, oh, I, I feel like I'm deteriorating. Oh, I'm getting older. Oh, I'm getting, um, you know, I'm losing my this, I'm losing my that, I'm, you know, just worst case scenarios. Oh, I'm declining, I'm deteriorating. Telling yourself shit that you don't really even want to happen. You're just getting carried away with these thoughts and because you believe in a lot of ways that there's some realness to them, you're disregarding kind of the law of consciousness where it's like, you know, it, it, it's almost like you're just always experiencing a big mirror. And as you shift in your identity to your identity in Christ, you know, part of contemplating perfection is in, you know, not wanting to control, but trusting an in infinite intelligence um, to unfold reality perfectly. But not only that, but realizing more and more so that's how it is in truth, you know? And so it's like a deeper realization of that you know, by be um, for one being able to start to contemplate um, perfection, you know, and that's that's something between you and God. What that even means, you know, because you know what is perfect, you know, what does that is perfect always having harmony, bliss, ease. Maybe, you know, I don't know. You know, it's like I've had a lot of difficulty, frustrations, irritations and shit, you know. Um, but just like in playing the guitar, though, it's like a lot of that shit is initial. You experience like the resistance. Like if you start playing the guitar, for example, a lot of times people aren't aware that the strings can kind of fuck like fuck your fingers up a little bit when you first start playing and make them sore. And so it's like not only are you working with like putting your fingers in weird positions and then having to use both hands hands doing different things you know so you have that kind of like drama to kind of work through um but then there's like some physical pain too like with playing when you first start playing until you develop calluses um you know i, I can only look at my own progressions of like these different experiences and part of i feel like manifesting is getting to a point where you have this inner vision you know of like you know with like music for example you have like this inner idea how you want something to sound not always you know sometimes you can just be just open and just in a flow state and just which is probably the best state to be because that's where like all of like the best stuff comes from 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 infinite intelligence it's like why does music even sound good to others you know and then it's like well you realize that on some level we're all connected so it's like if it sounds good to you and it resonates within you well that same inner connectivity of like that goodness that feeling whatever is it resonates with others too and there's like a oh it's almost like a tuning fork kind of vibe where it's like you start resonating in one way and if you're in that thing strong enough you know it has an effect on not only people around you people in your perception at least but you know on a larger level creation in general because all minds are linked you know and that's like a bold claim but that's something you can start to test for yourself as you um 
kind of you know put a lot of these metaphysical um, concepts into practice. You know, and there's many many books you know that 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 go into you know different levels, different perspectives. But you know, ultimately the teacher is within you. You know, the biggest thing moving forward, you know, starting now is to start breaking the habit of constantly needing the outside that you know person or whatever to to validate you know or you know a lot of times we'll we'll have that inner voice guiding our 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 mindset and then it's like we hear that then echoed through the like a physical form and then it like it clicks you know so there's like you know faith comes by hearings you know so there's some like biblical like you know direction i guess with that but then at the same time you know, we're also just experiencing good or bad what we believe to be real and true about reality and ourselves and our relationship with God ultimately. You know, a lot of people, um, I don't know that I hear like the uh, law of attraction crowd, you know, a lot of times I feel like it's neglectful to um, kind of leave out our creator in the, this whole, um, you know, manifestation kind of direction and ultimately really creating heaven on earth in a lot of different ways. But, you know, trusting in the fact that, you know, that perfect um, process is all, al- it's already like that. You know, it, it's like, it's getting out of this like struggle and striving in the present moment, you know, for this utopia future. And it's more about, you know, bring it to here and now and not for one, having this, these unconscious matrix programmings is running around in our head of why we should be a slave and just, you know, constantly just deny our own fucking God given common sense to, to believe nonsense through, you know, cultural, indoctrination and and just mindsets that the collective in a lot of ways has you know but that's ultimately a reflection of the one consciousness so it's like to sit there in like judgment of like oh you're on a pedestal you know and other people aren't on that pedestal you're 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 limiting yourself that's a limiting belief to think that way you know it's a it's a it's a more empowering idea to start thinking of perfection and others you know and seeing others as in a perfect process that that where they're at is perfect for them and you know do they you know do people have states of consciousness that have unconscious shit and dramas that they've um accidentally created for themselves not knowing that that you know cause and this cause and effect relationship between the inner conversations the 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 mind that we're having all day long making judgments and or we could be we could be being cursed you know saying curses to other people like oh you know what a loser and you know somebody's like I don't know. I it's so you know for, for me it's like kind of foreign to think like that towards others because I like what happens is if you do that like if you use like um that kind of mindset thinking like to hurt another it comes back on you you know so that's that's why I'm never really that concerned of what the 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 they is doing out there in the world not to 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 be ignorant to like the unconsciousness that's out there. But you know everything's under this 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 creation and this law you know so it's like anybody that's ultimately trying to hurt there's only one you know it's like you're trying to hurt god by trying to hurt others you know and it's like that's not going to work and it's like because you are connected with god then too you know so it's like you hurt yourself only you know but you know that hurts everybody else on some level too because we're all connected you know and so you know some people don't seem to to get that and and at the same time you know you'll talk to some in creation that advocate for suffering it doesn't seem like they're doing it really on purpose you know, but like it's like this uh, this idea that um that god needs you to suffer for some reason you know like god that that love needs you to to suffer for some reason you know it's like you know perfect love casts out fear and fear, according to the Bible, is what has torment associated with it. So it's like, you know, what you're not is suffering. You know, so it's like, so to like endure what you're not in the ever present now, to me, doesn't make logical sense. You know, when you can choose to consciously think more empowering things about yourself that are that are true. And experience that more and more so in the life situations that are ultimately a reflection of consciousness. It's like you have the exact amount, like amount of money, for example, that you have given to yourself in consciousness. The same power that gave you that gave 
you know, people billions of dollars. You know, it's, it's the same force. It's only one thing going on. It's like it's a mistake on a lot of levels to ignore what Jesus said is the most important command of hero Israel or Lord God is one God. You know, it's not two. You know, there's not two things going on. There's not two powers. There's one power that's being used unconsciously and being a curse with that but with understanding that same thing turns into a blessing in the here and now because it's only ever now and so it's like uh, it becomes more and more i don't know just it just starts making more and more sense i guess to go oh i've drifted into unconsciousness like unconsciousness again but the remedy to ego fear all that kind of stuff is through awareness by by realizing that that you were just that is the, is the breakthrough of like, oh, I'm not that anymore. And then you can start to choose to contemplate, you know, wh what does perfection have to do with this? You know, what, how does God see this situation, this person, this event, whatever that, you know, you, you connect the dots as you, as you, you know, drift into unconscious states through just believing um, old programming that's in your mind, you know, and following it out down a path of events, uh, what does Neville call it? Neville Goddard, uh, a bridge of incidents, you know? So it's like you get through just these bridges of incidents, these symbols of different things that are going on, but it's all going on all you know, simultaneously in the here and now within. That's where it starts. It's like omni, what is it, omnipresent. You know, if you think of your consciousness as a as that pond that's just, you know, stillness, you know, it's like the thoughts that you believe you, you drop into the, the water and there's a ripple that goes out. It's the same thing of thinking of as seed that gets planted into the ground, you know, over a, a course of a bridge of incidents or linear time, you know, from here to where it unfolds. And through that unfoldment, there's the consciousness that's getting fucked with. You know, it, it, that's the biggest thing to realize is, you know, the journey and the destination, you'll get there once you let go of the shit that you are putting up in your own consciousness that pushes it away. You know, so like, again, money is a good example because it's like you're pushing it away, these different thresholds of it, you know, where it's just like, you know, besides, you know, the natural laws of consciousness playing out in the forms of scarcity on either side of the thing, you know, where it's like you have not enough, but then if you're successful, then you have fear of loss. And so you can spend the eternal now in fear of loss or feel of fear of like not enoughness, both of which, you know, are you're, you're in the, the, the like a, the old slave mind state, you know, it's, it, things are abundant. And that's, you know, the idea of hoarding and, and shit like that doesn't make sense. Once you start to understand more and more of how, how these, this law of consciousness kind of functions, you know, it's like, it's almost like you start to learn like electricity when you turn a switch it turns the light off so then you start fucking with it and then you start seeing it playing out more and more so and then your faith gets taken up a notch you know in, in um, cor yeah, like corresponding to that but it's like all of these things like moving you from like like a, I don't know like a fifty thousand dollar a year person to like a hundred thousand dollar a year person that that jump it's, it's just as easy for for God this is the only power to, to be the supply for a hundred as it is for 50 it's all part of the simulation it's all god mind manifest you know it's it's not it's not the big st elaborate story that you've created <laughs> it's like the, the big elaborate story you've created is like oh you know it's, it's come from you know it's hard to make and there you know you got to really toil the fields of you know to rub two pennies together and you know it's yeah, take from others to get it, and you gotta hoard it, and it's like, whatever you're telling yourself. I don't fucking know what you're telling yourself, but you know that's that's the fucking problem is, is what you're telling yourself about it. It's like there's no difference. It's just a fucking zero, you know, on a screen somewhere, you know, and it's like unless you're moving it, you know, and spending it by like, and it, even in, in that, and being part of that current where you're like, once you spend it, then it comes back to you. You know, and once you believe that, then you start seeing that more and more. So, but the problem is, like, oh, if you don't believe that, then you start creating the resistance, which then pushes it away, and then that keeps you at that fucking level. Is there many levels? You know, many ways to get to the different levels. That's like, there's infinite ways. You know, it's like ask God how to do it. You know, it's it's God that does it. God is your supply, and and it's like, 
the only reason you don't experience things like that is because the resistance, the shit that um, you're contemplating instead of contemplating perfection. You know, so it's like, you know, whenever you find yourself in a state of fear, hysteria, reactivity of like, oh shit, uh, like here's one that got me the other day. It's like, oh shit, you see what PayPal fucking just did with, you know, going to find people this money. It's like, and I, I legitimately had to withdraw almost $2,500 just to put it into like a different account, you know, and like, uh, but then that came out and it's like, fucking PayPal, why do you keep falling for this shit? You know, it's like, it was the same thing with Google for me. You know, it was just like, you know, I was like, I really liked it for a while. You know, and it's like, why are you fucking falling for this shit? You know, and doing these stupid fucking things. And, and like, I keep holding on to hope, you know, which, you know, doing, even having that kind of a mindset, you would fucking take somebody's, but whatever, you know, everything works according to, you know, consciousness. So it's like, I'm not going to get too triggered by it. But you can see the reactivity and, you know, what's already kind of inherently there from that situation. Well, then I waited a couple of days <clears throat> just to do it because I started feeling reactive. And it's like, I didn't want to just like, like withdraw that kind of like, you know, thing just because like there was a sensational thing going on in the, in the media. But, you know, at the same time, it was just like... Yeah, I have to. I'm, I gotta pay myself for this work I'm doing or whatever. And so, so yeah. I mean, but you know, I guess the moral of the story is you just gotta check the stories that you're telling yourself of why you're not worthy of of like abundance, or feeling healthy, you know, good things happening to you, being blessed. You know, I just I just ran into a buddy of mine, you know, and he's getting a life changing amount of. Um, money for like an inheritance you know which is awesome for me i'm like genuinely excited for you know how that's going to impact his life in a positive way you know and um you know the thing about it is you know god is the supply of that you know and you know he is ready to move to that next level you know consciously or unconsciously it's manifested and so you know again you can look at it as like fearful you know, what am i going to do with all this you know uh, fear of loss, whatever. Again, you don't have to think like that anymore. You can start to think about perfection. You know, letting go of those those old slave thoughts of like hoarding and everything. You know, letting letting that shit go because it's like you are you are like loved. You know, that's another thing to start really getting into your being. The concept, you know, people around you love you. Oh no, they fucking don't. You know, ever since this this shit, it's like they've all turned into NPCs and, and whatever. And it's like, you know, I'm not going to deny, you know, that uh, NPCs might be a reality in this fucking game. But you know, if you really start to look at things more game like, like we're in a simulation that um, once you're not cursing yourself all the time, you know, all things are possible to those that believe. You know, and you know, I feel like a big you know part of things moving forward is like experiencing more and more levels of heaven and here and right now and you know opening up of consciousness to infinite intelligence to really start to showcase you know because god does the work of like all these 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 things that manifest you know how that happens who knows you know how all these infinite ways happen you know but the more that you're like tuned into it the more that all fucking makes sense and connects and and everything else and the more that you start to choose to um think about the perfection of how you know everything is flowing perfectly you know god's in control only love is real is a big thing to, to really start thinking about you start to look for god and other people and you know have the assumption that people are blessed right now not cursed you know that, that people are awake and not asleep you know having these positive expectations these positive assumptions assume that you're seeing people in the kingdom of god right now that these that everybody that you meet is is the same person you'll meet in heaven on some level because we're all part of the one you know, and the, the, the one is here now. You know, the, this concept that, that you're separate is part of the illusion that is being let go of. You know, and so, yeah, hopefully that's helpful. I think I'm going to, to balance So, you know, um, probably going to play some guitar, you know, and, and um, you know, record, uh, I don't know, something. Um, I don't know, I've been really liking this Adele song. You know, I really like her, her voice and her music. You know, um, this is like old school. I mean, this is like ro rolling in the deep shit. You know, where it's like, um, yeah, I, I listen to this like live performance. I like live performances on some level almost more um, than recorded. You know, just because, I'm, you know, being like a, like a music producer, 
you know, getting into this whole fucking, oh, it's got to be perfect, and everything's got to be perfectly quantized and perfectly tuned and perfectly perfect, you know, and it's like, you know, yeah, everything getting compressed, and, you know, it's got, everything's got to be perfect, 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 you know. I, I think there's some flow to that, you know, and there's there's definitely good uh, motivation behind that. But if you really enjoy seeing, li- you know, I used to really like to go to concerts and see live music. And I never was like, oh, they got to play it just like the CD, you know, I was never into that, you know, I was just like, it was more about the vibe of the fucking moment, you know, and that was, you know, one of the things about a live performance that's uncut, unfucked with, you know, it's, it's just like there's like a magic to the moment that, that I feel like translates on a, on a subconscious, unconscious level that um, it was not something that can be replicated once you start fucking chopping things up. And it's like, yeah, like according to like musical harmonies and, and stuff like that. It makes sense to quantize things. It does sound better when things are fucking perfectly on time, you know. But, you know, for the sake of just music, I guess, and just expressing something in the here and now, um, yeah, I really like that. And then she has got this, like, um, oh, it's, like, uh, recorded at a like a radio station or something like that version. I don't know if I can find that somewhere where I can buy it, which I, I've been buying music, you know, for... I made a habit of doing that because I got really bad about just not supporting other like like artists and shit you know and it's like musicians and shit and it's just like i don't know why you know i do know why because it's like i just grew up with napster and shit and like um you know my progression in music was like i was really into punk music going to punk shows and, and stuff like that and that was like an awesome way to experience different bands that were like on different parts of the country because at that time the internet was not fucking strong you know it was like dial up and stuff and it's like like the only way you found out about bands that weren't local was like through touring and shit and like who's playing with other people on the tour you know from different areas and but then you get like napster came along and it's like you can get exposed to like some like west coast punk bands you get you know all these different bands that you nowhere near in their tour like touring zone you know, and then you'd be, like, still involved in, like, in the, you, oh, that just came out. You just fucking download it or whatever. And I thought it was awesome, you know. And I still, on some level, think it is awesome that you can, all this music is just everywhere. But, you know, it's like, you know, thinking that, oh, you know, it, I just, you know, not ever support anybody involved in, like, the whole fucking, like, business of it. You know, it's like something I'm getting more and more mindful of, like, okay, it's only... And, and once I started doing it, I was like, oh, yeah, a dollar or something for a single is, isn't is shit, you know? And so it's like, yeah, not a big deal. And so, um, yeah, with that being said, I think I might do that, do hopefully maybe get something out there um, eventually. But, you know, with that being said, I think I'm going to balance it. I appreciate everybody liking, sharing, subscribing, all the social networking things. I also appreciate your spiritual support and your physical support. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. And until the next now, God bless.